Hello there everyone, my name is Tom Scrollo and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, really interesting one, we're gonna be going to pick up my cheapest V12 Ferrari in the world. So if we get, let's say, 1200 likes on this video, I'm gonna do many many more detailed vlogs about this 599 GTB to just show you how much of a risk it is to buy the cheapest possible no history Ferrari in the world. Don't risk it. Leave this kind of fun for me because I don't really care. I'm making content for you. So let's go for 1,200 likes. Don't forget to subscribe and please let me know in the comments how big of a mistake did I make by purchasing this cheapest V12 Ferrari. Let me know and let's go pick up the car and just see how much of a mistake did I make. Hello, sir. To the car vault, please. It's already getting miserably hot outside. So what's the temperature outside? It says 30, 39, 39 yeah. degrees Celsius. Yeah. Holy shit. It's March, not even April yet. What's gonna be in summer, 50? Yeah. Right. This is crazy. How are you? Well, I missed my Bentley a little bit, but I guess should upgrade to the Rolls Royce for this one. So I guess it would be really nice to go for something like this as a uh, Sunday car. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And the price, price on it is not too bad. It's also a great example of a car that will not depreciate. It will pretty much stay the same, the same price. The same thing, so this is the Phantom Coupes and they're just bloody freaking amazing. Just look at the interior. So that's perhaps also on my to-do list in Dubai, on my to-buy list. <laughs> so this one is even cheaper, also about 160 or whatever. And then there is the Wraith, which is also uh, real nice, but this one will still depreciate quite heavily. So that's not something I wanna look at. Then there is the Dawn. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful freaking car, but this is pretty much brand new. So that's really, really a lot of money. Look at this extra thing. I, don't, I forget what it's called so that it may make seem like it's a car for two people with some carbon fiber right there, even though it's a four seater, as you see, as you can see. And this interior, oh man, this interior is tasty. The car vault in general is just an amazing place to go shopping for a used car and they, but often they have really awesome deals on uh, used cars. That's how I got my deal on my 599 GTB. All right, so there is the magnificent key. There is the magnificent interior. We need to put in the key, turn it. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna get settled and then I need to get some gas because it's on empty. It says lamp failure. That's not too bad so far. Okay, some tire pressure calibration. All right, so I'll go into reverse. Okay, first gear. And seems like we are off in our cheapest V12 Ferrari. It's drivable, it's driving. I feel good though, it's a Ferrari and I saved myself like uh, $350,000. All right, let's go left here we can make it before the bus I have full coverage anyway so let's do it stop sign they taught me that at the stop sign you actually have to stop but the instructor also said that unless you're in a Ferrari so I don't know whom to believe so there is the petrol station there's always a line in Dubai for petrol well I guess as reason for it that it's the cheapest petrol I've ever bought. I know that it's not the cheapest in the world, but it is quite cheap compared to. Thank you very much for letting me know that I have arrived at the destination. God damn it. 
always, always when I try to film something, somebody is trying to talk. And one more thing that I need from the gas station is the Salik. Salik is uh, the thing that is you know, used for the toll roads. Whenever you are on the toll road, you have to pay like uh, four dirhams, which is like a dollar twenty or something like that, to actually use the toll road. So um, yeah, that's the point of it, and uh, that's what I need to get and to register in my name and put a deposit on it, so that uh, there is you know the the, the balance that is being used, which, so you can use the paid roads such as Sheikh Zayed Road. So yeah, but the smell. In one of the previous videos, I did tell you about the smell in the Italian cars as well as the British cars such as Rolls Royce. And the smell is here as well. I can smell this leather. It's bloody amazing. Where is it? It's here. I hope I opened it. I don't know. Did I? Did I not? I don't know. The, 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 the 98, the full one. Full. It's, it's not opening? It's supposed to be open. For some reason, I, I thought that all normal cars have their gas tanks on the right, so you had to reach out with the no nozzle, whatever. Not, not very nice, but there's nothing we can do about it at this point. So, I've just paid about $35 for a full tank of gas in a Ferrari. How nice is that? And I just freaking scratched something on the bottom there. So yeah, 35 bucks for a full tank of gas. Very nice. Once again, love Dubai. Hey, how are you? I need that initial Salik. New Salik? Yes, new Salik, please. So, just bought myself the Salik thing, which is whatever it looks like this. Now I have to register it online and that's it. All right, let me head home. I have a uh, business call to attend and then we'll go for a night ride and enjoy this cheapest B12 Ferrari in the whole of the UAE and the world. And just see how good, if any good, this car is. So let's enjoy. So almost, almost home, almost at home. And uh, just in general, a magnificent day. Yeah, baby. <laughs> just the sound that it makes is is quite menacing. It's it's not the uh, you know the modern V12 sound, but uh, it still is quite awesome. You know, let me know in the comments if you would want to see me put a straight pipe on it and make it sound like an F1 car. I think that I should do it. Let me know down in the comments. I'm in the underground parking of our building. And to be honest, I have no idea uh, which parking spaces are mine. I have the number somewhere in the phone, so I'll have to check it out and see. But uh, we have two of them and they are in two different places, which sucks. So I guess I'll have to get, uh, you know, uh, reposition them a little bit, maybe rent one. <laughs> yeah, well, just me being a small kid. So last night I was uh, a little bit tired when I came back home, so I uh, did not film anything anymore. I went for a ride on my own to just enjoy. Went to the palm and drove around. But in general, I gotta tell you, for the money, for the $60,000, but I'll do the calculation probably in the next video on how much I've paid for it, how much is gonna be the service, the insurance, all the you know taxes, and I'll tell you just a small teaser, no taxes in Dubai, nothing. You don't have to pay anything yearly for any emissions or CO2 or anything like that. So, but yeah, now Sophia is with me. Finally, somebody can film me a little bit. And uh, we're gonna go for a, for a ride in our cheapest V12 Ferrari. Let's go, Sofia. Hop in. So let's put the key inside and turn it. And all these things happen here. And then... Oh yeah. Um, recommended uh, to have ways for one of these things to watch for the cameras because in Dubai the cameras speed cameras are everywhere like so there is one probably won't be able to see it but there is one right there that uh, the gray one is a speed camera and they are just all over the place Okay, 
Well, it certainly does have... Can you please shut the fuck up already? Certainly does have some power. <laughs> well, it's 612 horsepower, 620. Yeah, a few small things in the interior are broken. Quite used up, for example, this one, the sticky button, but the 360s and the F430s and 599s have been suffering from the sticky buttons. This stuff here is not as sticky yet, but we'll refurbish all of it for a few hundred dollars, really. So it's, it's not a problem. So, Sofia, what does it feel? After having the Bentley and the Porsche, <laughs> what do you feel about having a Ferrari? Sporty, nice. <laughs> sporty and nice? Yes. Nice and sporty. And fast. And fast, yeah, quick, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> All right, some valet parking. Another reason why I love Dubai so much, because there is Sofia and valet parking for our Ferrari. Look at it, looks so good. For the money, I will keep saying it, for the money, there's the fucking best car ever. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see my friend Alessandro for a cigar session. So he's going to teach me all about cigars. So I've never been a cigar guy. I've smoked cigarettes. I've quit them like three, a few months ago. And I'm still smoking some shisha, but uh, we'll see. So Alessandro, you're going to make me smoke? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but just now, I'm yeah. going to recommend you a nice cigar. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is uh, very large. Nice selection, huh? Nice selection, yeah. I want we that Rambo one. Do you, we want to go for such a ring gauge, or you want a smaller? Oh, I like the ring one. gauge. Sir. Monte Cristo number two, it's not, yeah. not too strong. It was yes, good. It's a good start. Beginner, so, beginner, yeah. Right beginner. beginner. <laughs> That's Sophia's ball? Sophia. Small one. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have one of those. Ah, you have the Churchill one as well. So you're just touching them too? Yeah, yeah, to see if they are quite. They should be not too dry. Oh, so they might be uh, like softer, yeah. not cracking. Yeah. So this is a Churchill. It's a special uh, uh, edition of Romeo and Julieta. It's called Churchill. And it's kind of the size in honor of Winston Churchill that was uh -huh. used to smoke yeah. this, uh, this size. This is slightly stronger. The ring gauge is very similar yeah. to what I have uh, recommend. Okay, all right. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. Ah, this one is for you. Okay, so I'm going to add the wrist. Yeah. Forward, so I'm going to remove. After we go, like that. So. <laughs> there he goes. Alright, I gotta try doing the same. This much? Yeah, just you need to remove a, a bit the cap, so not, not too much, yeah. Yeah. So like so, yeah. This is like a pyramid shape. Yeah. yeah. So it's like kind of fantastic. Okay. Alright, I'm going to light up. For how long am I supposed uh, to? It depends. I, I think this is quite strong, so usually a few seconds. It should be already try to soft. Just taste in your mouth and pull out. Don't breathe in. <laughs> Alessandro is teaching me he's doing his best. And by the way, there's gonna be a link to his Instagram in the description. A really good guy, check him out for FinTech. Really good uh, uh, expert and a FinTech giant. And if you're interested in FinTech and how that all works, check out his Instagram channel recommend it and um, he's also a big cigar guy and um, I'm trying it and trying to understand how it all works. For me it's interesting but I guess I'll have to spend a few more days with Alessandro to grasp the gravity of important, you know, the the, the, the taste buds, taste but they, they have to open up, you know, when the, you know, we're talking about the cigar world but um, it's stylish, you're sitting there, and, uh, you know, the walk of the GBR and uh, the Ferrari is parked somewhere uh, behind the bushes and you're just talking about business and you're smoking a cigar. And it's very bitter, but I'll get used to it. And yeah, so uh, very nice, very nice. Please, let me know in the comments, does a cigar suit me? How much problem with a cigar? 
Whew. So had a really nice cigar with Alessandro. Interesting experience and uh, yeah, we'll try it again. It was quite harsh for me, so I'm not that very experienced in this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll try it again sometime. All right, well, if you enjoyed this vlog, please hit that like button. Show me that support, seriously. Many more vlogs will be coming out in the next ones. We'll talk about the expenses with the Ferrari and uh, once it gets serviced uh, fully so that, you know, things like the check engine light will be taken care of, then we'll push it hard. Maybe we'll do some burnout drifting and we'll take it to the racetrack on the Dubai Autodrome, etc. The list is long for the vlogs, so let me see some of that support. Thank you for watching. Thomas Kralo here. Peace and love. See you in the next videos.